how to deposit money on Binance with credit cards. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can deposit your funds into Binance with credit cards. So whenever you are getting started with your cryptocurrency journey, you have to fund your account and there are different ways to funding your account. So first off, you're going to log on to your Binance account and once you do log on to your Binance account, you're going to click on deposit on the top right. Now you have two options when you're depositing, P2P trading or deposit crypto, but we want to purchase via credit card. For that, you're going to click on your wallet and then click on overview. Once you click on overview over here, you will see the overall performance or value of, of your current wallet. Then after that, you're going to go into the spot market over here. And in your spot market, you're going to see a bunch of different tokens, but we want to actually deposit funds via credit. So whenever you're choosing to go with credit, you have two options, purchasing fiat or purchasing crypto. For certain regions, um, fiat purchasing can be done via cards, but in certain regions, it may not be available. But crypto purchasing directly by a card is always available in almost every region. So all you have to do is simply click on deposit over here. And currently in my region, it's not available. So we're going to go ahead and click on deposit crypto or deposit fiat. Once you click on deposit fiat, you're going to choose your currency and then how you want to pay. Now, if you're looking to directly purchase cryptocurrency or deposit money onto Binance with your credit card, then click on buy crypto on the top left. Once you click on buy, you will see on the right, you can choose the amount you want to spend as well as what you want to purchase. So let's say I want to spend $111 and I want to buy USDT. And then at the bottom, it's giving me the option to purchase directly via my card. So I can click on the payment method over here. You guys can see I can purchase via my card, Simplex, as well as AUD Spot Account, Apple Pay, and bank transfers and pay IDs. So the simplest and easiest way is to just select your card, click on confirm, click on add new card. Once you do that, you're going to proceed with your card information and you're just going to proceed with the rest of your information to be able to purchase via your card. And this allows you to not only purchase via like USDT, but you're also able to purchase cryptocurrency. So if you want to directly purchase crypto with your credit card, you can simply go into the spend section and let's say we yeah we're using AUD and I can go into the receive section and I can choose what I want to receive. So let's say I want to buy XRP. I would just search for XRP and I want to spend let's say $100 on XRP. I would receive 23.61 XRP. And then in my payment method, just select my card, click on add new card and add my card information. And this can easily be any of your Visa or MasterCards. And this is amazing because not only are you able to buy crypto without having to trade, but you can directly purchase with your credit card, even if you don't have a current balance that is equivalent. And this allows you the opportunity to purchase crypto when prices are lower and you're able to facilitate and fund your account without having to take any crypto loans and directly do it via your bank. Now, Binance is not limited to only buying and selling like so, but when you're buying like this, you can also choose to sell and receive a token in return or receive a fiat currency in return. And you can choose your receiving method and basically have a withdrawal to your account. So we have the ARS spot account and we can withdraw to our account. Additionally, if you click on recurring buy over here, you can choose to set up a recurring buy after a certain time period. So if you want to select your assets, you can select that. And depending on your location, some features may not be available, such as, you know, recurring buys with credit cards are not available in my region. But in some regions, this feature might already be available. So you can choose to check that out in your region. 
Now, once you have purchased your money or deposited your money with your credit card on Binance, you can convert that into crypto. And if you purchased USDT or USTM, whatever you prefer, you can go into trade and then go into your spot market. The spot market is one of the easiest ways to get started with cryptocurrency tradings, simply because it allows you to follow the simplest strategy that has been around for the longest, which is to buy low and sell high. So over here, we have a graph of the overall performance. And if we scroll down, we can see any of our orders that we want to place. So we can start placing orders, which could be cross, isolated grid, limit orders, market orders, and we can choose to buy or sell any particular token. Not only that, but Binance give you, gives you multiple different automations, such as take profit and stop losses in advance, which allow you to minimize your risk and losses. And when you scroll down, you can buy and sell. And then if you scroll further, you would see any of your open orders. On the right, you can see the current market trades. And on the left, you have your order book. Then on the top right, you can choose the token pair that you want to monitor. So just accept their terms of use. And then you would see all information. You're just going to confirm that you understand the risk of certain tokens. And then you can, you know, browse and see whichever token pair you choose to purchase. Not only that, but with your money on Binance, you can go ahead and build trading bots and also increase your margins with futures trading. Futures trading introduces risk into the money that you are trading and can be a bit difficult for newer users, but you can always get started and you can even do USDM perpetual. The perpetuals simply allow you to view the futures trading market without actually trading anything. And this is where you basically predict the price of a cryptocurrency token. So if you expect the price is going to go up or if the price is going to go down, and if your prediction is true, you make um, a profit. Even if your prediction was that the price is going down, if your prediction is accurate, that is when you make a profit. But if you're looking to make your money more secure on Binance and you don't want anything with too much risk, you can go into Binance Earn. And once you go into Binance Earn, you will be able to see multiple different locked and flexible savings with good APRs. So if you scroll down, you can see you have multiple options of, of different APRs with flexible locked as well as shark based. I'm pretty sure we also have those. And flexible allow you to take out your funds, but locked savings basically does not allow you to take out your funds until that certain time period is completed. So you can auto invest your money into these as well. Simply click on subscribe. Once you do that, you can click on auto subscribe and choose to subscribe directly with your cards. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.